Hey guys, welcome back to Brian the Avatar, the series where I only play one champion at a time. For some reason. The community needs Brian the Avatar, the master of all 158 champions. All five rocks, a billion abilities, a thousand skills. Brian the Avatar. Powered by Ironside Computers, use code PIAN to 5% off. And so, the adventure continues with B. Bard. It all started when I missed my Q. That's when Jinx told me to stop using my Q unless I hit it. Wow, that is some great advice, Jinx. Thank you. With that in mind, I guess I'll just stop missing. I'll even get this cannon for you, Jinx. Just because I like you. Oops. They did it execute. Jinx then dies, and I portal through this turret. She asked what I was doing, to which I missed my Q, causing me to die. And then Jinx dies again. Things were not looking good. On the other hand, top lane was three manning singed and they were having a great time. So I devised a plan, a plan where we will get carried. That's right, you don't always have to win. To win. If they overextend, someone will come to kill them. We both realized that we suck. So let's just not feed and give up the turret if we have to. Jinx even pinged back. She understood the mission and I respect that. We'll do what it takes to win. Me and you. BKWPGMKC. That's when Talon came to gank. Perfect timing because Draven has built up a big bounty and is very overextended. Oops, I forgot to take a night. There we go. Everything was going to plan, except for the part where Warwick was coming down here to kill me. But thankfully I had an escape plan. Easiest flash portal of my life, to be honest. After making my grand escape, I immediately went to the mid lane, and there were three bitches on that turret, and I wanted to do something about it. That's where I landed probably my best kill of the game yet, and then I isolated Rumble, who was tanking the turret. Unfortunately, they all got away, but at least they used all their summoners. Just don't miss, it's that fucking simple. Without this time, I was walking up the river and I just felt like a different bard from when I started the game. I just went up to this rumble and I slapped his ass. And it was just the easiest kill of my life. I then altered these two motherfuckers. And I don't know how to time my Q, but I guess I do. I was finally feeling my bard self. And I was just recalling, that's when I saw a lone rumble in the mid lane. And also Soraka. Not so good things happening to her, but this rumble! I'll land my Q. That was really terrifying. I can see what happened in top lane now. And now, 50-50 Baron call. My favorite time of the year. Can we win off this? Yeah. Can we throw the entire game in 10 seconds? Hell yeah. But I lived for this adrenaline. I could tell it was kicking in when I altered Warwick way too early. The Baron health was getting lower and lower, and Warwick is going to come out in time. It was only in these last few seconds where we all realized the fate of our lives are in the hands of our silver junglers. And then we lost vision. The Baron. Exactly. 900. Warwick jumps over and smites Volley Bear. And there it is! That's what I fucking live for. That's what I fucking live for. I watched as Jinx stood still and killed everybody, and that's what she lives for. That's what she lives for. She flashed forward to reposition. That's what she lives for. We made it, Jinx. We made it. Let's crank. It all started when I missed my Q. And again. But that's when I remembered. Stop using Q unless you hit. It's that fucking simple! And then Lily Flash exhausts me. She was probably trying to exhaust my Jinx, but my fat ass got in the way. But was very gankable, so I pinged for assistance. With a jungle twitch on his way, I charged it in, and I had one job. That is not let these bitches get away. So I walked forward to block their escape path, but then they just ignored me and started killing my Jinx. Uh oh. It's a good thing my Jinx killed them instead. I watched as the honey fruits got popped, and this Annie started eating them. Excuse me. And he fled for her life, but I wasn't gonna let her get away with this. After losing a tower of bot Jinx and I decided to play it safe and not overextend or we'd just easily die to gank from Kane or Annie. Ooh, control one. Okay, that's when I was recalling, but Lulu stopped me. Meanwhile, Twitch accidentally resets the Gromp. Shortly after Lulu and Cog charges in to whoop my ass, Lulu they know that Twitch is still there, doing his Gromp. I'm very sorry for disturbing you, Twitch, but do you mind killing these bitches? Twitch then finally resumes doing his Gromp. But then Annie flashes over, Twitch dies in Gromp, she autos me. And then I walk away. The real winner here is the motherfucking Gromp. Twitch was furious, how dare you guys, he exclaimed. I agree, I agree, Twitch. That's where we're gonna get this Kog'Maw.
I couldn't seem to miss a hook. The game was as good as ours. Even if they did secretly do the Baron. Doesn't matter if they're dead. But then we got caught, and we got caught again. And we got caught enough to lose three inhibitors and a Nexus turret. I still think we're stronger though, we just got caught too many times. I will hook Kog'Maw. But Lulu flashed in front of it! It's a game, motherfucker, it's all Lulu! Just one of those games where you're winning until you lost. Brand! I'm a fucking beast on this chair, but what you wanna do is you wanna spread the flame, and then you wanna. I'm being ganked. I must run. That's what I thought, Phil 6. Come gank me again after you get blue, you cheesing little dog. That's when Phil 6 ganked me after getting his blue. Good. I want him to gank me. Oh, let's fucking go. I saw Fiddlesticks in the top lane. Okay, he's right there. I can do something mid for a bit. I then land my entire combo in Akali, putting out a half HP before going down to this bottom bush to mind game Fiddlesticks. I needed him to hesitate ganking me, giving me this small window right now to kill Akali. Except I fuck up my entire combo by Wing first. So I couldn't kill him on time before Fiddlesticks flashed on me and feared me and silenced me. But I can still do this. It was only this time I decided to do a sneaky roam to the top lane. That's where I secured this kill. But I was so focused on securing that kill that I forgot. I forgot to call Mia. Yeah, oops. Team just whole forgot about bot side and just helps in Tinga really Nice. Actually, I yoinked a kill. I'm going to carry now. So glad you helped though. No, I helped myself. I just came in and I took the kill. I'll just go ahead and carry the entire game now. It's okay. That's when I really cleaned this fight and got a kill. God, why'd she have to get it? Kogmo is a dog. <laughs> Don't mind me, just killing literally everybody. It really then lands a stun on Kogmo, which I follow up with my own stun and kill him. I throw down my ult before dying, but that's okay because it did enough damage. We won. Nice. That was a pretty chill game. Brom. Damn, this skin literally makes me naked. Is it because I have no clothes on? It's okay, let's at least try to enjoy laning phase. Even though the score is 14 to 4, where bot lane has three of those kills, even with Hecarim literally setting up camp down here. It was definitely the skin, definitely the skin.